Welcome to Retro Night Gaming, guys. Um, in today's video, I'm going to go over um, a couple of topics that people ask about sometimes um, in relation to performance on the Raspberry Pi and Batacera, how to overclock um, your Pi through the menu system on Batacera, and also how to uh, change your audio and video output settings um, and as well as how to um, smooth your graphics, a couple of different ways we can do that. So um, let's get started. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, really quickly, super easy, how to go in and overclock your Pi. You're gonna go into system settings. Um, and you're going to scroll down to where it says overclock. It's right there. Click on it. Here are your options. Uh, none is the standard clock setting for a Pi. Now, the one I personally use is 1950 megahertz. Uh, it, that then clocks your GPU at 700 uh, megahertz. I find it's the most stable. Um, if you're using this and you have a Pi 400, you can set it at this and you don't have to worry about it. The Pi 400 has great passive cooling and it'll take care of it. If you're using a Raspberry Pi 4 or, 4 or 4B in a case, make sure that you've got a good heat sink and a good fan on it. Um, you can clock all the way up to 2275 you know, on, uh, you know, it's, it says caution and it definitely, you know, some things will not run stable. Some games will crash. Uh, once again, the Pi 400 has the heat sink to, to stand those temperatures. Uh, be very careful and use a big heat sink and fan if you are going to be using a Pi 4 or 4B in a case, but I always set it to 1950 megahertz. So pretty easy to do, uh, while we're in this area we will take a look at video output. Um, I just, once again, in case you're not following, I wanna make sure you see how to get there. You hit the start button, you scroll to system settings, and then you scroll down to where it says hardware. Uh, if you wanna change your video output, just click on video output. It's gonna tell you what you have available. It will normally be set to auto, um, you might have more than one HDMI output setting. If you say have a laptop and then you plug the laptop into um, an external television, you'll have usually one or two options here. Choose the one that you want or leave it on auto if you already, if it's already outputting video properly. Um, audio output, you're going to have multiple options here. You may have, you know, you've got headphones, You've got HDMI, digital stereo, and then there's uh, this particular uh, Pi that I'm using today is a 4B that has a Hi-Fi Berry um, board on it. So I have um, even you know, another audio output setting. Sorry about that. Um, so choose the one that works. Sometimes you will um, load up your system and you'll have no audio. So do the first thing, come right here, hit start, go to system settings, go to audio output and choose a different audio output than auto. Sometimes auto will not be outputting to your um, setup. Say you got headphones, a headphone jack plugged in. So just go ahead and choose the one that works. And uh, um, once it does, you'll see um, a sound bar show up on your screen, letting you know that you know, it'll show up in the upper left-hand corner and it'll show that you've got volume coming in. All right. So that is audio output settings. Okay. So then from there, we want to go over how to smooth graphics. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You can do this system-wide or you can do this well, actually, I'm sorry, three ways, system-wide, individual systems, or individual games. Um, to do things system-wide, you're going to hit the Start menu, go to Game Settings, and then go down here to where it says Game Rendering and Shaders, okay? So um, you have Smoothing Games, it's standard bilinear filtering, it's the most um, lightweight version of smoothing. It will provide decent smoothing on 2D games, games that looks that looks pixelated, say on NES or um, other systems, you know, Genesis, Super NES. This will 
give a slight blur to the edges and make it look smooth. It's nice because it doesn't really take much system power. It barely takes any system power to run it. Um, if you're going to go with shaders, that is going to pull more power from the system. Um, shaders will work on everything, but primarily uh, they work. They look best on on uh, 2D graphics. But if the the, the blur smoothing of smooth games by linear filtering doesn't look good enough for you, go to, sh to shaders. And there's multiple choices. If you want to have scan lines, like it was an old CRT television, select scan lines and it will put it on the screen. Um, you know, if you want to have, you know, enhanced is the one that makes things look as smooth as possible. So, you know, go with, usually the favorites are enhanced or scan lines. Um, I personally prefer to just use bilinear filtering. One thing to note though, if you use any of these, the higher end systems like Dreamcast, PSP, and PS1, that will be just the edge that bogs the system down. So you will either want to overclock or you will not want to use shaders for those particular systems. So I just showed you how to set up shaders for the whole system and smoothing games for the whole system. But let's go and just quickly take a look at doing the same thing for individual systems. So if we're going to do it for an individual system, you actually go into the system. And from there, you're going to hit the select button, which is also the hotkey you're going to select advanced system options and from here go to game rendering shaders just like we did with the full system and then you can actually select them for that particular system say for MAME which is what we're looking at here now this will only affect MAME so you can go in and set you know shaders on scan lines or enhanced and that will be it if these are set to auto then what it will do is the system will default to whatever the primary system settings are. So as we saw in my build, on this particular build, I have bilinear filtering turned on. So that has smoothing turned on for all systems, but I don't have shaders turned on. So shaders will not be on right now. So if I want to turn shaders on to MAME, I'm going to click on it, hit the south button, uh, and uh, go down and choose one of these selections if that is what I want to do. Um, it, it's all a matter of preference. Um, you know, a lot of people like to use shaders and smoothing, uh, but that is up to you. But, uh, you know, that is this particular video this time. I just wanted to help you guys overclock and uh, smooth out your graphics and decide where you want your audio and video to go. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and a like, and uh, I will see you in the next video.